all political parties that we should bring two terabyte external hard drives for soft copies. They asked us to bring that for soft copies. Kofi Adams was complaining on Monday about the fact that, yes, they haven't gotten theirs and even gave certain suggestions about how the district registrations and so on should work. This posture of trying to defend the EC, no matter the wrong or the delay or the mistake they make, should stop. Because at the end of the day, they have shown us that they've not been ready for certain things. Even local elections, look at what they did. They tried to make the time shorter when that is against the law and there was still time and they were taken to court for it. And we lost so much money, over 300 million Ghana cities, which if you were to take into dollars, just multiply that kind of amount of money. Mm. So please, let us stop this culture of, oh, once it's the EC, we are going to defend them. I have had a very big problem with the EC, especially <coughs> on the issue of even the 7th November. What is your problem? My problem is that they've taken it to parliament too late. I think that it's a good idea to have the 7th November because the December makes everything a bit of a scram, mm. especially when we have um, extra, uh, 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 the second round of elections. It doesn't give enough time for handover. And so everything becomes a bit haphazard. So in our wisdom, we have said, please let us move the date forward. The EC were doing local. Logo. And I have a problem with that because I don't think if my brother Halidu becomes, let me, I need to learn okay, on this go, point for you to understand it, go. becomes IGP tomorrow, he has a right to change the logo of the police. Or if you were to become Chief Justice tomorrow, you have the right to change the logo of the judiciary. I don't think it's acceptable. And so for them to have spent their energies on things like that and come and d devote time money, press conference to it, we love it, we choose it. You should love the time that you are trying to abridge to 7th November. You should choose it, you should do it earlier. Instead of logo. What is it, you see, what, in, 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 in what, life... Uh, uh, Mike, what is the delay here? Because uh, but my brother, Madame aware, Charlotte is, say, is saying that... that, that aren't you aware that with even the 7th November, and I've particularly chosen why mm. I'm upset about that, that... Parliament might even have to sit on weekends, Saturday and Sunday, to get the time. Are you also aware well, that... Well, that is the duty of Parliament. But nobody said that's not the duty of Parliament. Uh -huh. And so, please, so the, so I told you that you need to let me flow. Okay, flow. Well, yes, Mike, you flow. flow. You, you because flow. And we know that's not the duty of Parliament, but it's the duty of the EC to bring it in earlier. Because the parliamentarians need to go to their constituencies to campaign. They need to go to their constituencies. They, they were not elected to, to parliament to go and campaign. You're not understanding what I'm saying. I, I, I am, but they, they were not they, also appointed to, to delay in a way that they inconvenience parliament. So, the, exactly so the case. So, can I make my point? Okay, it's not about this. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, you have to make me. It's not every time you have to engage. <laughs> okay. Relax. My I, I, I want our viewers to I understand know, where, where we are going. understand that. Parliament ordinarily doesn't sit on Saturday and Sundays. Yes, they are sitting there see, because an emergency has been created. For, and that emergency need not have been created if the EC had done their work earlier. That is my point. Okay. So now we have an emergency mm. where this thing is going to go on all the way to 7th August. Are you also aware of the 50-day rule that you can't register anybody 50 days to election? Mm. And if we are going to do it on the 7th of November, that means we're looking about August 7th. By which time, you cannot then register anybody else. And see all the delays that have occasioned this. Inconvenience. My brother sat here and gave some suggestions that things that have to be done and so on and so forth. This is what we need to look at. And the issue is simple. If you look at the way that the uh, uh, names of those who have been deleted, for example, as been handled, mm. it's not good enough. Why? Do you remember that Central Region just came on Friday? published officially, okay? Most of the other things that even came out, they were not arranged in districts and constituencies for people to see. Right. Two, if you also look at the fact that whilst all of this was going on, the EC itself, and the last time I checked was Sunday, they didn't even have it, that's before the exhibition, they didn't have it on their website. 
Where else are people supposed to look for information? And yet, when you complain about this, they will tell you, oh, uh, leave the EC to do their job. Nobody it, it dislikes the EC. But the EC is put to task. Mm -hmm. Why? Were we not in this country when the NDC, I'm sure Alidu was there himself, but led by Isidun Ketia in what we call war clothes, went to the EC to demonstrate? Was it because their posture to the EC is that they don't like them? What were the words he used? The way people criticize the EC and what, what? Is it because they didn't like the EC? They were not happy about something they felt the EC was not doing well. In 2004, NDC took uh, uh, EC to court. They were not happy about something. So I'm saying that if the EC does something that one is not happy about, you should be able to do a civilized thing, mm. like, for example, take them to court or to castigate them and say, no, EC, what you are doing is late. Parliamentarians are upset to the EC because of their delay. So nobody should tell me that parliamentarians were not elected to uh, 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 um, go to their constituencies campaign. Is Parliamentarians that, were elected, elected? wait, they were, they were elected to go to their constituencies in weekends to have workshops. They had to go their weekends to have clinics to talk to their constituents. They were That's not it. elected to sit every day in Accra. If you know the life of a parliamentarian, mm. weekends, they organize workshops after church on Sunday, after mosque on Friday. So let us not get that uh, 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 angle mixed. Look, they gave us this and yet nothing. In fact, I'm yet to confirm if we even have the soft copy. We don't have it. And why do we want it? Look, this list that we have at the moment, it includes the names of those whose names are supposed to be deleted, as it is now. Because unless they would delete it and give us that updated list. It, so what we wanted to do was... different list. No. So what we wanted to do was, as at the time they told us to bring the two terabytes, those names were not going to be, were not yet deleted. Mm -hmm. So if they had given us a list, we were actually going to help them. Because you see, it has become a norm in this country that is like the political parties have to help the EC do its work or do the work that the EC is supposed to do. I have voted in England, but for example. But a stakeholder. No, it doesn't work like that. I in see. England, the EC officer was reading a newspaper. Everybody was coming to vote. They trust the EC official. So there's no need for party agents, for stakeholder. Where in this country, when a, 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 an EC officer fills in lies, then they say it's a party agent's fault. As the politicians who don't trust the EC, the voters trust the EC. I don't think so. Because in my constituency, I can give you an example. When they told the EC alone to stand aside and count, me and NDC, we're chatting. We're having a laugh. We're all brothers at the end of the day. You know that. We mm. get on very well. Mm. Even the EC, yes, we criticize their policies, but we don't hate them. It's just that sometimes it's like two lawyers who argue in court, then the person standing by sees them chatting later and say, hey, are you friends? <laughs> they don't understand. So it's ignorance that makes some people think that we are enemies. But no, whilst Halidu and I were chatting, the EC counted it and added 9,000 to the votes of President Obama. So we went through again, line by line through Excel, and removed 450, 420, removed 9,000. NDC didn't do that. It was the EC, the referee. You understand? So. We have to understand that the EC in itself, the EC is not the, the, the holier than thou grail. They can make mistakes. And so when they make mistakes and people criticize those mistakes, they shouldn't take it personal and tell us we like it, we love it, and so on. <laughs> That's unfair. Uh, but, Mike, should... so, so for you, with all this that you have enumerated, suggest that the EC isn't ready, even though the chairperson I don't know says about, I don't know uh, about, the, the commission is ready? I, I don't know about ready. My focus now is not necessarily on the EC. My focus now is on the election. I want to go Wrap into the election yeah. like Azuma Nelson. Azuma Nelson says when he goes into the referee, he goes to win by knockout because he cannot rely on the referee's scorecard. So we are not going to necessarily rely on the EC. We are going to go there. When the Ghanaians vote, we are going to put steps in place mm. to secure the vote, like was done in Dominic Kwabina. All we'll do is that by what has been recorded, we will check and cross check to make sure it is there. But that we is done do e everything. That, that is done oh, every it, day. Unfortunately, except in some unfortunately, cases as I said, some people trust the referee too much. Okay. They leave it to them. Right. And in that instance, mm. city, they don't see what is going on. But this time, we will have to trust our own selves mm. to make sure that everything is well. So there's no there's no issue. I just want to say that 
Now, now without, apart, yes, that's apart from me. without the register, mm. we have not been able to now take those names. We wanted to take a red pen. NDC was going to do the same. And then we will be able to now help at the registration centers, mm. even see how we can get those people <coughs> ourselves just to help the process. Unfortunately, because of this, uh, we've not been able to do it. But I want to say that the fact that something has not been done before, like them giving us registers before, doesn't mean we can't improve it and do better in the future. Oh, okay. Well, I'm grateful. But, but, right. I think that is, is uh, quite unfair for individuals to be accused of defending the EC, particularly when they are citizens of our country. I'm sure Michael Kwe, as a lawyer, will appreciate the fact that every citizen has the responsibility of protecting state institutions because uh, refusing or bastardizing state institutions then certainly will be collapsing our no, country. No, 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 he, he says, he says, he says he's uh -huh. criticizing no. them for yes, what critic you know, is for bastardizing. Yes, 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 no, right. I'm coming. Probably he is not doing that, but mm -hmm. many, many of his colleagues are doing that. So that is why I use the word bastardization of the EC. Now, I am a citizen of Ghana. I own it as a duty and responsibility on my part as a Ghanaian to defend state institutions. Whether in my submission, right in my submission this morning. If the police are wrong, you in defend my submission them. this morning. No, right, please. No, no, in, you, no. If the police are wrong, you just defend them no, because they are uh, state institution. Uh, Mike, Is that you, how it you, works? You allow him to talk. And well, but you two and, probe him. And, if and you were me, you would be interrupting, <laughs> probing me. But when he's talking, it's flowing. It's not true. It's flowing. In my submission this morning, I raised a concern in respect of their work. I did that. But I have never done it in a manner that is so offensive to the credibility and integrity of the EC. And that is what I'm calling for. And I'm not saying that the EC should not be criticized. That's not what the point I'm making. I have just raised an issue that I would have loved to see the, the deleted names coming with pictures in a different album given to political parties. But the MPP is sounding so hypocritical. I am a parliamentary candidate of the NDC in a constituency. As I speak to you now, the MPP agents are holding a, a, a register with pictures and trying to identify those who have actually been uh, deleted. And yet, but they sit... So they have the updated one. They have it. So, so you see, no, we have that's why I'm saying that, that, that's saying, saying that saying they sound so they hypocritical oh. and they always put out falsehoods to mislead the people of this country. And that is so disappointing to, for a political party seeking the mandate of the people of this country. Why can't you be honest for once? You see, my difficulty with this party is that they will not even do what is right within themselves. And yet, they want to failure to do what is right. They want to blame another institution. Why? The MPP in the history, in the, in, the, in the political history of this country, as far as elections is concerned, most of the reforms that we have been able to do mm -hmm. in respect of our, our changes in our electoral process were suggestions coming from them. Electoral Commission has taken most of their suggestions. In fact, the usage of national health insurance was a proposal by the MPP. No. Is that not true? Doctor, oh, doctor, oh, doctor, oh, okay. uh, uh, the former VRA boss. The former VRA, what, what is the name? Reku Bobi. Openly said that he was at the IPAC meeting when you people proposed that the EC should add that, that the national health insurance. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, he, he, made, he, made, so, he No, I listened to him on Asempa FM. I'm, I'm just you. showing, I'm telling you a source. I wouldn't just mention somebody's name without being, uh, what is it, without telling you the source or where he has actually made that statement. Now, he made the point that. In 2008, myself and other NDC members, led by the General Secretary, were at uh, uh, the Electoral Commission with a war, clues, etc. Let me put it on record that on that day, I was a member of a committee that compiled the results at the office of the flag bearer, then Professor Moss. I never got out of that office. And in fact, I, 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 if he cares to know, that documentary, the election documentary that was shown from the strong room, from the strong room. If you watch that documentary, you'll see me sitting in a plastic chair. I was sleeping in a plastic chair and speaking even on phone. Go and check that. And please, never repeat that and statement. That is again the that, form. Okay. That, All right. Substance is that your party never, was there. Okay. So, <laughs> but, but at least, uh, I, I like it. At least, Mr. Uh, Sedun Ketia and we're there. Uh, let, let me go to Mike. Mike, but uh, so quickly. So, you you suggested that you ha what you had not been given uh, copies, but Aladi is suggesting that in his constituency, your, your party members have uh, some documents. Yeah, and you are you, saying, you saying that, that, it, that of the 2012, not the, not the updated one. Thank you very much. Okay, no, that's what I, 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 I want so us to clear. For him okay. to go All ahead right. and be using the word hypocritical, I think he doesn't understand the I word. Okay. Okay. All right. so hypocritical. Okay. Please, I need to okay. respond. Okay. Allergy. 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 Now, my issue is simple. Why did they tell us to bring the two terabyte 
uh, 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 disk drives. For what? You to see, record, you're just, to you're record. Acting general secretary. Okay, just, okay. You're acting general secretary. Are you? Are you? Are you? General secretary. The acting general secretary said he mm -hmm. made a request. He so, requested, and the electoral. You see the way he's even presenting what, what and he's talking about. Okay. okay. Acting general secretary said he with, made a I, request. Allow you. You allow. Allow Mike to go. Mike, go flu. And so we gave them this a device for them to give us information. If you have not been able to give us the device, you explain. Or you apologize. You don't come and say that somebody is a hypocrite because we have made do with old lists. Every party asking if his party doesn't have 2012 election list. So we are making do with that. But the problem with that is we are adding it to the new printouts mm. to try and see if we can get a semblance to register. But we don't have a proper compilation. See, but we are making do. Right. Now if somebody is making do with something, <laughs> how do you call him a hypocrite? Okay. That's what so, I'm saying. That's so, the standard right. word by hypocrite. So, right. Okay. Please. So, so what do you have isn't what was given to you by the No, let's, 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 let's get this. Let's, let's, let's get this clarified. And, I beg you. And, and, let's get this clarified. You see the 2012 register. Okay. The 2012 register. You let him land. I'll come back to you. So, in effect, all I'm saying is that, look, I don't want us to split hairs over EC matters. Because for now, that is not the issue. Mm. The issue is everybody should go to the exhibition center. Go and check your name. Go and see if there's any problem there. You know there's a new problem with the no verification no vote. Mm. Because now the rule is trying to say that the regulation is that even if the, uh, no verification no vote will not apply. There's a lot of confusion in people's minds with regard to that. Now, I have been led to believe, but yet to be confirmed, that the machine is to verify you. But, you know, before you go for the machine, they have the, um, what do you call that thing? That they use the machine to pick. Yeah. The barcode. There's a, bar there's a barcode. barcode. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. So if the barcode picks you and your picture pops up, I emanating from the system, mm. But the verification machine doesn't pick you. That is when you'll be allowed to vote. But if the barcode doesn't pick you and the verification tool doesn't pick you, you won't be allowed to vote. That is what I know now. So we are going to get more details and educate the public mm. as we move on and on. But we plead with you, all people who are eligible to vote, don't only vote. Because at the end of the day, it's the only way of expressing your suffering. Go and also check in advance so that you would even know whether your police station has been moved. And you know, with the new registrants in particular, there was a cluster. Right. And you have been yeah. moved somewhere that you may not be too sure of. So go to that place and let them show you where you have been fragmented or disseminated to, and then you can go on accordingly. And so uh, 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 Madam is asking for the cooperation of political parties. Yeah. And I'm sure all parties are ready, including the MPB, are ready to give uh, that support. Yes, very much so. And that's why we are even also saying that there may be some gaps. We are prepared to fill those gaps mm. to make sure that everything will go on smoothly so that the election will take place mm. by the grace of God on the 7th of November. All right. Aladi. Right. Right, you see, the issue of the deletion of the National Health Insurance Register. The National Health Insurance Register are supposed to be those who have used that uh, card during the 2012 registration. Mm. So if the MPP is sitting here telling me that they have the old register, what it means is that the list of those who are supposed to be deleted are actually part of the register given to them during right. the 2012 register. Mm. The limited registration, every political party presented uh, an agent at the polling stations. At the end of every registration, we have list of names. But I've said this already. No, no I mean, list of names. Now, so if a political party, I because they want to actually just add up to the mischief that they are pushing against the electoral commission. That's what they're talking about. No, the no, electoral no, no, no. I don't understand okay. that. A serious political party. A serious political party. No, I don't understand that. Okay. No, you call right. too, right. too, 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 too much mischief. You call too much mischief. And then you put it out there and you try to create some doubt around the electoral commission. Why do you do that? Where do you intend to achieve? So, Alaji, the fact that the fact that you're asking for a copy of the register before uh, uh, the exhibition is that mm. why you, you think they're engaging? I'm saying that it has never happened, and I have challenged on several platforms the MPP reps, and they've never been able to show or tell me that. that, that so uh, 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 you see, as it stands now, 
We have done oh. limited registration. Mm. And then that limited registration will be added to the, uh, the, the already existing register. Now, in okay. doing so, there is a need for us to do correction. Even the old one, we have to delete the uh, unwanted element within the register. The MPP is requesting that hand over the register to us. That is a provisional, which is expected to be clean. Give it to us. For what purpose? Because okay. they want so that is why you think they are being mixed. That's, that's, that's the point I'm no, making. No, 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 it can't be. Uh, because okay. in, in right. case of the third bite, let me just quickly run okay. up on this. <laughs> okay. no, I think he doesn't understand. He thinks the because you're asking for the, 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 the document. You, you requested searching. for it. You Wait. wrote to the electoral commission requesting okay. that they should hand it over to you. Your general secretary said that. They agreed. Okay? okay, and they asked us to bring a device to record it on it. They haven't given it to us. When they finish, so they'll give the it meantime, to you. in the meantime, no, no, no. In the meantime, we will all be giving. We are making do. And you say there's mischief. I think he doesn't understand the word. Wow. <laughs> I know he's a scientist. He's very science. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> yes, but oh, he should not use the wrong English words. He should use the wrong okay. English words. That's okay. Right. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. He, no, that's uh, Alaji didn't hear what you said. <laughs> no, he right. didn't. No, he didn't hear. No, because sometimes when you go <laughs> into a laboratory and mixing so many chemicals, <laughs> you are just adding other things that are not supposed to be. <laughs> Mr. But, you, but you, need to be, you need to be so, conscious before okay, you right. add. <laughs> I know. Right. So you didn't say that 